While many of the main roads are clear of snow, you could still run into some slick spots on secondary and neighborhood roads. CBS 6's Shannon Lilly is in Storm Rider to give you a look at some area conditions. So Shannon, where are you right now? Hi, Cheryl. Well, we are in the Reader's Branch neighborhood. We just turned onto North Crossing Road. I'm going to give you a quick look outside. This is in a neighborhood in Goochland. So you can see roads are really looking really pretty good out here. Seeing a little bit of ice and slush still, but for the most part, things looking really pretty clear. On the sides of the roads, though, we are still seeing that snow build up. You can really tell which cars have been out and which haven't by the amount of snow that we have on here. Uh, on, on the different cars. So, but again, things looking a lot better in comparison to what we were seeing this morning and, of course, yesterday evening as well. So, neighborhood roads like these, though, are really the focus for VDOT today and really where you want to be careful. Temperatures right now in Storm Rider 6 reading 32 degrees. So, remember, if pavement is wet, like the pavement that we're seeing right here, and temperatures are low, there's a chance for ice patches to form. Uh, and that's not just on neighborhood roads, but really anywhere where you're driving. So VDOT crews tell us today they're especially working in the northern half of the region from Petersburg North. They say the majority of interstates and major roads are clear and passable. It's the secondary and neighborhood roads that VDOT continues to work on. In fact, our crews caught some footage of those plows out shoveling snow in the west end, which you can see here on your screen. This is in RICO plowing and not VDOT, but either way, you'll probably see snow plows out throughout the day. VDOT spokesperson Bethany Glover says there are some things you can do right from your home to help them out, like simply parking your car in your driveway. Parked cars along the roadway um, can be difficult for plows to maneuver through. The plow itself is very wide, so sometimes they'll bypass a road if they aren't able to fit through there. If you're shoveling and you don't want snow to get plowed back into your driveway, it's important to shovel to the right if you're facing your home shovel your snow to the right of your driveway so that that snow doesn't get plowed back into your driveway. Good advice there. Glover says crews have made really good progress, so they'll probably have all of the neighborhood routes and secondary routes plowed by the end of today, and they'll continue to address any slick spots overnight. So if you do encounter any slick spots in your neighborhood or if you live in a, uh, on a county route and your neighborhood hasn't been addressed yet, you can call their customer service number. That number is 800 for road. But again, back out here live in Storm Rider 6, things looking really pretty good in the Reader Branch neighborhood. This is in Goochland County, but these neighborhood roads are where you're going to want to watch out. Remember, it is the day after a snowstorm, so the chance of ice is likely, and you just want to be cautious. Cheryl?